All right. Next question is from Fru Hausen, who's asking, uh, latest thoughts on storage rent and its potential impact on the ecosystem short to long term. Oof, that's a big topic. Um, let's start with uh, UTXO compression, right? I think that's going to be the first lesson in terms of impact on the ecosystem, uh, where people are going to want to learn to understand and kind of uh, minimize their UTXO footprint over time, right? That's uh, kind of the point there is to uh, reconsolidate uh, your boxes periodically. Um, I've always thought storage rent is a fascinating idea because, you know, when you have the ability to, uh, let's say, create native tokens, NFTs, you know, to some degree, if there's no market value, right, you're just creating additional clutter uh, on chain. And, you know, it, over time, if you want to run a full node, you know, you you have this expectation that you're supposed to store it everybody else's data indefinitely for free. And and that's kind of a terrible uh, model, I think, where, uh, you know, if I'm going to solo mine, why do I want to be a cloud, you know, storage service for everybody's history for free forever? I think uh, yeah, that's very unnatural, like economically, right? Uh, but yeah. uh, that's in, in every blockchain, uh, except of uh, Erga. Yeah, it's it's a weird assumption that you know suddenly solo miners are supposed to store your stuff forever for free, like uh, that that doesn't even make sense. And then you have the tooling to add additional clutter potentially. Um, you know that's not a, a great incentive to uh, carry the entire history of the network, right? So uh, in Ergo, looking at that, we said okay, we have to look at chain state as like a scarce resource because ultimately, you know, if you just allow that to bloat indefinitely forever, who's going to want to run a full node? And then if nobody's running a full node, what happens? And, you know, you basically get hyper centralized. And uh, I don't know. I think that's that's like one nuance in blockchain that, uh, that a lot of projects just kind of ignore is, is this ability. Like if you want to actually run a full node, what is that going to take over time? Yeah, and actually, uh, well, uh, there will be a lot of uh, interesting games. Uh, so uh, currently, uh, well, uh, the node uh, is not uh, building uh, index, right, uh, for uh, charging uh, the storage rent. Uh, and I don't know uh, whether to build it uh, or not. So uh, whether uh, to make it uh, default uh, behavior to, to charge for miners or maybe to uh, let them uh, be smart, right? And so uh, do they not? On strategies because uh, there are uh, a lot of issues, right, in uh, building uh, storage uh, rent uh, logic uh, for a miner. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, uh, especially as uh, miners uh, can take uh, tokens, right, in uh, boxes uh, not uh, capable to uh, pay uh, storage rent. Uh, then, uh, yeah, it's uh, the, the big question, right? So what to take and uh, what to uh, throw away uh, because, well, it's uh, also it could be expensive, right, to, to uh, well, uh, store everything uh, for miners. Uh, so then, uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, uh, maybe uh, miners uh, will uh, get smarter, right? And maybe then uh, ERC-oriented uh, pools, uh, well, uh, will be uh, leading ones, right? Not, not just uh, ordinary uh, big pools, uh, which are not paying attention uh, to uh, what uh, miners do actually mine on the, the pools, uh, except of uh, very basic things. 